Oke. Okay. Okay, I think we can start. So, hi, hi everyone. Hi, how are you? I think uh, you are all fine in this COVID-19 situation. And today uh, we are presenting actually uh, Microsoft 365 virtual marathon. And uh, here is my colleague, uh, PL Paul. He is joining with me and uh, she, she would like to present uh, Microsoft Teams. And I'm going to present uh, Power Automation and Power Apps and with uh, Microsoft Azure. Uh, logic application how it's gonna be work and how we can integrate those system and uh, one of the special thing is we are going to share the what's the new feature feature is coming on and uh, what the you know, what kinds of things you can develop and what the business logic you can also integrate to your system by using all, all of this and here is my little bit introduction for me and uh, you already uh, see in the screen that uh, only two logos and i have also a twitter id you can con uh, communicate with me in there so uh, i think uh, there should not gonna be any problem to uh, catch up with me and uh, my colleagues as well so just uh, let me go through the uh, our next slide and uh, and presentation as well so here is my little introduction I'm going to share with you. So yeah, as of it's a marathon community and uh, globally there is a uh, 300 plus uh, speaker is joining and uh, hopefully uh, the audience is huge. So um, this is uh, this is MNO Kib which I already explained and here I, I also have a nickname. I'm from Dhaka, Bangladesh. So it's in the Southeast Asia section. So I uh, I am working on a corporate project as an assistant manager of cloud solution and uh, we are providing our client and uh, demonstrating the solution and our main objective is the uh, customer first as well what actually Microsoft also is doing. And another thing is uh, I would like to share in the uh, last previous week uh, I got an amazing achievement uh, which is Azure uh, Hero Baz and uh, I and the interesting thing is I don't have uh, much experience in cooking but uh, I in this COVID situation I do a, a pizza in my home I I, I think it, this it, this makes me a fun uh, after my uh, little bit hectic work so I also have uh, some experience and some project on my GitHub and uh, another uh, so, um, uh, website and blogs as well. You can you can go through that. Uh, I am a solution architect. Sometimes I, I am designing uh, your infrastructure solution on cloud and sometimes of app service. And I develop some uh, serverless application, uh, logic application, and I have some experience in Azure DevOps as well. So in my previous role, I was a uh, software uh, senior uh, senior software engineer, and I look forward to develop application using Azure DevOps. So I think it's gonna be help you a lot if you go through on that technology and learn of learn of anything. And if you want to know more of this types of solution on technology, feel free to ask me. Obviously, I will uh, try to help you. But uh, um, I think it's better to uh, go forward. Uh, what's the session for today? And uh, uh, I already explained that I'm from Bangladesh, so obviously my, my national language is Bangla. And uh, this session I will uh, mix mess actually, sometimes in Bangla and sometimes in English as well. But most of the time I'll cover in English. So I think it will be very much understandable for you and uh, audience as well. So, so uh, what do you say, PL? Uh, am I right or wrong? Is it interesting or not interesting? Yeah. This is gonna be amazing. Yeah, yeah. I think it will. It will be. It will be more fun for yeah. you and me and also our audience as well. So uh, yeah. thanks, thanks everyone. So just uh, uh, move on the next slide. Uh, I, yeah, actually, I I was trying to focus uh, that uh, very simple and light presentation, and I'd like to show the demonstration what the solution we already have in. Uh, uh, Microsoft Power Platform or actually Power Automation. And uh, in this picture, you already see that uh, uh, what types of things uh, in uh, is related to those technology. So in the top of the uh, top of 
the picture here is the power uh, power platform so power platform is integrated the three uh, three application or three uh, business logic which is first of all is the power bi so it's a very um, very interesting application we can do analytics a business uh, integration so we can predict our future plan as well so this types of thing is a very very commonly using in our uh, current era so so data is the future currency so it is very obvious to centralize our data and uh, analysis our data as well so move on that uh, um, power apps actually power apps also is the integration tool we can uh, build our application with uh, with low code no coding experience and it, we can host this application in the multiple platform as well so multiple platform means is that uh, you have a uh, multiple device maybe iphone maybe you uh, maybe android maybe you have a uh, uh, another uh, sometimes of the samsung so samsung also are running on a uh, android but uh, it uh, maybe in the previous version of samsung it, uh, it that technology was a little bit different so you don't have to uh, hectic on that so you just need to install power application which is free say uh, so after installing that uh, if you develop our uh, host your application you can get access on that so after that the uh, uh, microsoft flow which is the uh, automation tools it will automate your business model and uh, you just only develop your diagram what the business logic should be and it will integrate your whole the process and uh, your centralizing your uh, automation so which is more more effective without any investment so these three tools also are free so you will get a maximum feature on a free platform if you get more or as like uh, ai solution or as like uh, mm, integrating uh, analysis so those types of high situation you need to purchase uh, um, this this types of packages so i will show the uh, what types of template is available what types of template is not available which is uh, which is demanded which is not demanded and which is premium feature as well so after that you see that azure service and the data uh, foundation so this uh, these three platform is also integrated uh, integrated and delivered from the azure option so um, let's uh, let's guess one thing that uh, you have a uh, maybe maybe uh, your organization is the IT firm, right? So you, you have a developer team and you are getting uh, sometimes uh, some kinds of web application development, sometimes uh, um, ERP solution, sometimes uh, um, automation process as well. So what you need to do that uh, uh, you don't need to recruit um, a maximum member. So what you have, you can utilize those resources as well. So they have to, they have to little bit understand about the uh, how programming is work, how the algorithm is work, how the diagram or flowchart is work as well. So if they have uh, these types of basics knowledge, so they can easily um, build their solution uh, for for your cl client also uh, deliver the solution to uh, in the proper way as well. So you can see that uh, you can manage and uh, that your API management and sometimes of a function and some uh, some application which is a Kubernetes service included. So you can also in integrate your application with the Kubernetes service and you can also integrate your cogn cognitive service, which I mentioned earlier that uh, um, maybe you can recognize your face. Maybe you sometimes recognize your data. Maybe sometimes you recognize your invoice. So actually the um, uh, in this case you have to uh, learn your machine and um, you can build your solution so today actually i would like to share that how you can um, scan your document and uh, how the ai is um, actually capturing those document from your uh, invoice actually okay so this application is storing obviously you need a need a data service Maybe you can use your on-prem, you can use a SQL, or if you do analytic, then you can use a data lake service as well. <clears throat> Sorry, so if you centralize your data, obviously last in, uh, last in the list, which is a data warehouse. But let me introduce uh, one more thing, which is not in this picture, which is uh, Azure, Azure Synapse. It's just launched in um, Microsoft Build. 
and as you've seen up see which is really fantastic tool it can generate your application your data and uh, giving you a proper solution and doing ai and uh, data break you don't need to any hesitate you don't need to focus uh, what the data is how we can um, do the ai solution it will automatically do so uh, maybe i am speaking a lot so i'm not no more speaking just uh, let's go for a demo so first of all i am going to share that uh, uh, let me go on uh, microsoft flow so microsoft flow of flow application which is uh, this uh, it's it's totally free you can you can just write on a microsoft flow or the microsoft automation power automation so uh, so that you can access power so clicking power automation it's automatically go on the power automation platform so here uh, this is the first interface so if you sign in this uh, power automation uh, website so here you can get uh, multiple options so create your uh, new template or um, if you want to use your existing template then you can obviously use if you want to integrate your data then you can integrate your data from your um, uh, different platform maybe it's hosted by azure maybe your on prem maybe or another sql platform so uh, what I mentioned earlier that I would like to share in the AI building application, how you can scan your document and uh, focus uh, your identity, what types of data you would like to pull. So first of all, obviously, if you, if you want to use that uh, AI builder application or template, then you have to be a premium subscription and which is paid. It's not, not going to be free. But uh, if you go on the templates, there is a number of templates which is totally free and it will be really helpful for your application. So let's see that uh, actually you have a OneDrive or G Drive. Um, so uh, and you also have a Office 365, maybe a Gmail maybe you have a task manager so uh, how um, uh, let's guess that uh, you would like to uh, pull your all uh, all attached file to your onedrive or uh, google drive then what you need to do that uh, you have to pick your template that uh, what you're going to be do and what um, scenario or what attachment or what uh, uh, notification you would like to get or you would like to central your uh, onedrive or cloud platform so here is these types of uh, option you can see that uh, um, say office 365 mail attached one drive for business so if i click in here that uh, what uh, we see that uh, this function will work that if you get any attachment on your outlook then it will automatically um, save to your one drive business right so so this this is uh, it is uh, if you use this um, service then you have to make sure that you have a, a office 365 account as well and uh, you can just click on the flow then it will automatically create so i'm not going to share uh, on this in this option that uh, i would like to share in the how you can uh, scan your document so let's go on the models just wait for it it will take some time so uh, so you see that it's in taking in the model that uh, I already have a create in the uh, 30 days free trial. So um, I don't have enough money to invest in here that uh, the pool and sharing this uh, this kind of things. But uh, if you like to uh, do your solution on this section, just go to the price portal and, uh, and and try to understand what the price scenario should be and what's the uh, solution you have to need, then go for it. So I already create a template just uh, uh, which is uh, from uh, form processing. From processing, I what I did here that uh, here is a main template which is I already select some option uh, where it's from uh, invoice number, date, billing ID, due, everything. So if I click on the uh, quick test, then what it will ask me that I have to upload uh, from my device uh, which you know, what is the thing that I need to upload a form so let me peek on the form so 
so here is the form i'm going to upload in here that uh, this invoice is automatically scanning in from my back end that uh, and what i mentioned and what types of data i would like to take then it it will automatically pick those data that you see that here is the he automatically focus those those data before doing this what i did in here in my back end i did that uh, i actually uh, trained this model so if you ask me that how i uh, build this uh, let's go in this model again and here is the build model and you see that uh, here is the different types of template in here actually what types of things i need to do you can do a object detection you can do a prediction you can do an entity extraction so here is the different types of things you can do a business card reader or sometimes we actually we actually use a application from uh, app store to uh, um, complete our task as early as possible here is the form processing i actually used in my template in here so if i go on this uh, what it will ask me that it will ask me to write the form uh, name and you see that here is the five documents with the same layout so the thing is before starting um, a prediction or learning your machine you have to make sure that you have a maximum data and if you have a maximum data then it's it's very easy to predict your data actually what you need and that this accuracy is very effective actually for so you, ha you have to make sure that uh, if you have more data your accuracy should be a uh, more effective so just uh, let's go to a uh, build option sorry model let me check details actually i'm trying to share that how the process flow is working so that it will be more So you can learn from this option actually how your process automation is working. So you can see the documentation is here that here is the maximum things is mentioned that how the process automation is working and you can also integrate your process automation to power apps and uh, you may ask that uh, if we click on the quick test then it's uh, it's actually asking me to uh, upload my file in manually but if i do the same thing in the power apps then it's an uh, i don't need to uh, upload it manually i can take a snapshot and uh, it will automatically uh, do the same in uh, in my ai builder uh, if i do in the in uh, if i go to power apps and use a model then you can i can create a, a new application it will redirect to uh, power apps and i think it's generating my application actually you see that i didn't nothing i didn't do anything actually is here i just create a template and learn my machine and use uh, use this model and uh, i just click and i create a new apps it's automatically redirect to power apps so uh, here is the main uh, template let me skip on this okay got it here is the option actually uh, i can easily uh, drag and drop and i can uh, resizing my option as well so if i click on the analysis option or let me uh, click on uh, preview apps and if i click on the analysis then it will automatically uh, pull on my uh, actually uh, file where is file on 
and it will upload automatically and it will uh, generate the things. Okay, so here is the prediction option that uh, how the accuracy is on it and uh, how the percentage as well. So you can also uh, pull these types of data to your Excel sheet. So uh, you don't need to be a uh, very expert on uh, um, developing platform or you don't need to uh, expert on the very good coding language or uh, very good coder as well. So just you have to be uh, make sure that you have a general knowledge how you can um, centralize your data, how you can build your uh, workflow, these types of thing. And here is the more option. You can see that here, if I click on the insert option, here is uh, lots of template, uh, which is uh, very fantastic to use your own application. So you can drag and drop, you can use a date picker, you can use an icon, input a button or display button, whatever you want. You can use a media. So it's a really, really fantastic for uh, use your business and uh, your business logic as, as well. So uh, first of all, going through it, you have to make sure that what the uh, problem you're facing and what the solution you have to take from uh, um, Microsoft um, Power Platform. So, so I think it will be really helpful for you and uh, uh, I, I I think uh, I we can help you a lot. And if you have any question or any query, uh, don't hesitate to ask us. And uh, uh, we are really interested to know your queries as well. And uh, I think it's time to hand over my colleagues uh, who will present uh, on Microsoft Teams. And uh, she uh, she is uh, uh, she is a very young and uh, very enthusiastic on uh, technology. And uh, um, I, I am also I am also excited to learn new things from the Microsoft Teams teams. So uh, let uh, giving forward actually PL. Can you please uh, go on? Thank you, Mokib. Uh, so. Thank you so much actually because uh, uh, giving me the chance to deliver my speech on Microsoft Teams. Okay, uh, yes. hello everyone. Uh, <clears throat> this is PL Paul from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, I had uh, worked in renowned company of uh, Bangladesh named uh, Akis Group as an intern after completing my undergraduate. Uh, despite uh, being the youngest employee of that company, I had uh, portrayed enough dedication and maturity uh, while handling any project, uh, which was later highly appreciated by my seniors. Now I am working as a junior system engineer uh, in Corporate Project Limited, uh, which is a solution providing company, and uh, it was uh, awarded uh, Country Partner of the Year in 2019 and Gold Partner of Microsoft as well. It will be a uh, exaggeration, but a fact if I say that I am one of those valuable members of my company for my fantastic, efficient uh, performance and immense dedication and loyalty. This year, I have published my thesis paper on AMC Digital Library based on blockchain uh, in concept uh, decentralized computational system for an educational institution. Uh, during my uh, undergrad years, I was engaged with uh, various uh, workshops uh, associated with Microsoft. From then, I grew keen interest on Microsoft and dreamed of to be a part of Microsoft community. Now I'm feeling highly fortunate and privileged to be a part of Microsoft 365 virtual marathon. I have acquired expertise on Microsoft products like uh, SharePoint, uh, Project, Power BI and Teams. During this lockdown, I have made myself quite productive. Not only I have uh, acquainted myself with Azure Cloud, terrifically also uh, become a professional on making chicken roast, uh, which is highly devoured dish of Bangladesh. Uh, I have a versatile and a receptive mind with good desire of knowledge, 
if I ever get any chance to participate in other Microsoft programs, uh, then it will not only be an honor, but an opportunity to showcase my true potential and talent. OK, that's all about me. Now go to my topic with Microsoft Teams. OK. What is actually Microsoft Teams? Microsoft Teams is a unified communication and collaboration platform uh, that combines persistent workplace chat, uh, video meeting, file storage, and application integration. Uh, if I added something interesting, um, that is, uh, we can minimize the pressure from mailbox. How? OK, uh, let me give you an example uh, like uh, when we are working on a document, uh, we need three or more people and uh, one concerned boss who will monitor it. Firstly, he will give you a mail with his requirement. Then uh, one will do some portion, then give a mail to other person. Uh, to uh, continue it, then that person will give another mail. Then boss will check the final document, which was merged by another person to make a complete document. If any changes needed, then there will be an another mail. So to completing this one task, we need to write five or six formal mails. But if we use teams, then just create a group with that five person, then start working at the same time in one document. Also, the concern boss will check that document on there. No more five, six files for one task. No more five, six formal mails. Uh, just uh, work in one document in one group and, uh, war, uh, and your work will be done. If the document is approved um, by the <coughs> boss, then just give one mail for finishing the task. This is called actually co-authoring. This is just amazing uh, with the help of this Office 365 applications, right? Uh, like um, Office Word, then Excel, PowerPoint, Power BI. These are all um, integrated here for um, doing this amazing task. Also, we have Some partner applications um, like uh, poly.ai, then GitHub, that are also integrated here. And also, uh, we have some organization based application. Like, if you have a developer in your company, mm, you can develop an application and then can integrate it with it. Okay. Mm, today, uh, I will discuss about some new features of Teams and then we'll compare with other products why Teams is better. Okay, these three are new features like some administrative administrative permission, then uh, raise your hand, then nine people's video. OK, and I will uh, compare teams with other two excellent product. Hold a second. So I think PL, you can share your screen, no problem. I think you can share your screen and you can demonstrate, no problem. OK, OK, that will be fine. Mm. 
so let me cancel my screen here so that maybe you can share your screen okay you, you can share yours okay let me share my screen These are the uh, three new features and uh, other one I would explain today is uh, comparison on Zoom, Cisco WebEx and Microsoft Teams. Okay. Okay, let's uh, see the demonstration part. I will uh, show some screenshots. For uh, administrative options, like Teams uh, have uh, lots of administrative options. Currently, we have an option called uh, Manage Permission in Desktop App. Previously, it was not in Desktop App. It was only available in Web Browser. Uh, here it is. Uh, when we join a meeting, we can, uh, if uh, you are an organizer, then you can find this manage permission option here. After clicking on that manage permission, uh, you will uh, see this one here. You have some uh, meeting options like uh, who can bypass the lobby, always let seller bypass the lobby, then announce uh, when callers join or leave, and then who can present who can present means who can present this meeting you can uh, select the option for people in uh, in your organization also you can uh, specify some people then there is another option if you can see like attendance list okay what is this attendance list? Like uh, those who are attend this um, meeting, we can find the attendant. Uh, we can download the attendant uh, attendance list, and from the list, uh, we can found uh, the joining time of the participants. Then another new feature is raising your hand. Okay, what is this? Like when we are doing meetings, sometimes we need to ask questions. For that reason, we uh, for that reason we can raise your yellow hand and get, uh, and got a chance to speak out. Then another feature is uh, now we can see uh, nine people's video at the same time. Previously it was only four. Uh, let's see. Let's see uh, some pictures of my colleagues uh, it was taken from one of my uh, company's meeting session and they are all my talented colleagues i hope you guys are enjoying these pictures and then uh, these are some new features uh, of teams uh, now i can go to uh, the uh, comparison part like why we will use Teams uh, instead of some other excellent application like Cisco WebEx or Zoom. Uh, in Zoom and WebEx, uh, only um, host can record the meeting. Mm, 
but here um, in teams uh, anyone can record the team uh, anyone can record the meetings like uh, in um, zoom and webex uh, if the host um, transfer the host permission to another participant then that participant can uh, record the meeting but in teams uh, any one of the participant uh, any one of the meeting part uh, meeting uh, can uh, record the uh, meeting and this meeting is uh, uh, and this meeting will uh, saved in streams which is called Microsoft Streams, and uh, this uh, recording will be uh, will uh, stay on that meeting for 20 days. After that, if you need, you will get uh, it in Microsoft uh, Microsoft Streams, and the storage limitation for Microsoft Teams uh, Streams is uh, 500 uh, GB for each tenant, and um, for um, and for um, per license 0.5 GB will be added as bonus. OK, then another comparison uh, is like in Zoom and Webex, uh, we can only see the joint participants. But in Teams, we can uh, see all the people who are. Uh, who got the invitation for that meeting like. Uh, like here. Uh, we can see those uh, who uh, got the invitation for that meeting and uh, if uh, I am uh, organizer or a participant of that meeting, I if I join the meeting, then it was in currently in this meeting. And if I do not uh, join on that meeting, uh, then uh, that person will show in other invited option. And if you want to make them join, you can click on the uh, on the icon and got a option like ask to join then a uh, call will be uh, then uh, the, that person will get a call uh, and uh, he if uh, he, he want to join that meeting uh, he can accept the uh, call or can decline the call and then another comparison is uh, um, for a uh, time limitation for group meeting in zoom uh, group meeting lasts for only 40 minutes but in teams there is no time limitation and we can also integrate uh, Zoom or Cisco Webex in Teams. OK, let me show uh, some applications. Here is the application options and uh, some other options like personal option. We can got uh, OneNote, GitHub, and lots of other applications uh, uh, if you want to add some bot like zoom uh, cisco webex meeting zira cloud poly for communication it's a poll system like uh, these lots of applications are here you can uh, integrate these applications from teams i think um, this is all for now i hope uh, you like this session um now i want to transfer the mic to nokip hey nokip are you there yeah thanks 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 for sharing that was amazing session actually i learned a lot of things in here and maybe our audience and uh, if there is a new uh, audience is available then obviously they will learn a lot of things so our slide should be available on github i will upload in there and obviously our uh, video recording also uploaded so thanks thanks pl for joining uh, for such a great session and uh, maybe we can do a Mr. new uh, uh, yeah sure obviously we can do uh, do a number of session in the next time and uh, uh, i think uh, we can get a more response from our audience as well so thanks for joining office 3 the microsoft 365 marathon so uh, don't forget to register our next next year uh, marathon and it will be on uh, las vegas so uh, uh, please join uh, join there and uh, learn a number of things and uh, we have a uh, multiple session on um, office 365 marathon website so you can go there and register what you want to learn and what the topics you are like uh, you'd like to looking forward so i think uh, I, uh, this for today and we can uh, summarize and close this session thanks pl for thanks for joining and thanks okay. everyone yeah sure thank you okay
Bye.